It's hard to keep your sanity out here. It doesn't, it doesn't go away as soon as you get a place to stay. Stay awake up in the middle of the night, looking to see. <laughs> but then the dawn, I must say, man, I'm indoors, I'm in the house. You know, and it's a long lasting effect. You know, but you got, you got to help yourself. Reintroduce yourself back into society. Because you're depending upon how long you stay out here, you so far under the radar, you're almost under the ground. You know. And you, and you got to dig yourself up, brush yourself off. And everything that you've done years ago, you got to go through it again. You know. And it's much harder now than it was back then. Street Health uh, started with one person, that was me, um, and it branched out to 10, and now I think it's up to more than 30 in the community engaged learning, with around like 100 volunteers. The students from East of Virginia Medical School here, doing writers and everything, such a wonderful thing they're doing. NEST is the Norfolk Emergency Shelter Team. It is a group of religious buildings, uh, temples, churches, synagogues that provide uh, shelter and food and other services to the homeless from the months of November to March. So what EVMS Street Health has done is we've partnered with the various NEST locations and we started to create pop-up clinics at their sites. And so we partnered up with Freemason Baptist Church. We go there every fourth Saturday and help with providing them medical care. We also have eye screening going on. It's not for vision, but it is in case you feel like you're having any blurry vision, anything that you want checked, we will check it all for free. I volunteered with the homeless um, through Doctors Without Walls in Santa Barbara, California. And I learned a lot about homeless people and realized that they're a population that's pretty much ignored, so I wanted to bring my experience at home to EVMS. They like what they do. You can see it that they love what they're doing. And for me to be able to come in here and, and have this experience with them, you know, it's, it's, it's a blessing for me as well. It's just a tiny poke. Ready? Here we go. Good. Was that okay? We spent yeah. so much time in the classrooms. This is really give us an opportunity to go, really go out into the community and help a really vulnerable population. We actually get to implement what we're learning in classes to actual lives and having a better understanding of that. I mean, we basically helped each other, you know. They got a chance to, to help me, and I'm quite sure that I kind of I helped them. So, yeah, I hope I did help them. <laughs> It took a little over three years to get these. I am a happy camper. Yes. Yes, sir. Welcome to my humble abode. This was the happiest days of my life. When I first got my keys, you know, it was like, a load was taken off my shoulders. It, it, it was like a whole fresh start, a whole nother beginning, you know. And it was so wonderful.